Hey, all right, guys. Uh, 88 Shadow Angel here. Um, a bit of an updated one of Harold Deathwolf. Or as I'm calling him Harold Deathwolf at the moment because that's to me is his model. Um, so yeah, uh, I mentioned that I'm, it's been a while since I've looked at this model. Um, I've been kind of look, uh, figure, trying to figure out what to do with him and stuff like that, but I've finally got him finished and everything. Uh, so yeah, let's take it. So if I just pick him up, as you can see. Uh, the northern wolf in my in standard wolf bits, but I've added a, an extra layer, a couple of layers of um, grey just to bring out a bit of an age to the fur. Uh, considering this is a wolf lord and it's meant to be one of the ancient wolves, or one of the older wolves, I should say, uh, which I think is quite, really quite nice. Uh, the mechanical jaw on this side. All the scar and everything up on here, the one up on the top of its eye, a couple more around here, and yeah, uh, simple way I did, I did the eyes, nothing too special there, just a couple of bits of yellow and black wash. Um, so yeah, then to Harold himself, uh, obviously, I've got um, which probably the first thing if you've watched my um. Pre Heresy Space Wolf video, which is for uh, Templar's Crusades, Templar Crusade 01's uh, Great Crusade campaign. Um, uh, there's all this, uh, well, originally Bolger Metal, uh, but now we're moving into the Heresy. Uh, I've changed it to this, uh, what? The colour of the Space Wolf armour should be during the Heresy, which is this kind of granite grey, uh, which I got. I found a really cool description of it in uh, on the audiobook uh, Thousand Suns. For anyone, it's a good listen. And I thought I thought it was a good listen, at least anyway. Uh, but it gives a really cool description of how some of the Space Wolves are in terms of how their mannerisms on a battlefield are and. Uh, how their armor looks and how they you know, and how they present themselves to other marines, uh, as well as Lehman Russ as well. Lehman Russ gets a really cool description in there. But enough of that. Uh, <laughs> so yeah, uh, wanted to bring the gold out quite a bit on this chest piece and stuff like that, considering this is a wolf lord. So I thought it'd you know look quite grand. Uh, I've also made the skin slightly lighter than what I'd usually do for Space Marines just because um, a Wolf Lord on Fenris well Fenrisians should be a bit paler because of obviously the snow and everything uh, the grey blacky grey hair yeah, is just a standard and that uh, next I want to Something I was talking about um, with a friend of uh, with a friend of mine uh, about doing this, which is the um, black axe, uh, the, uh, the black frosted axe, which I'm so I'll have to re-listen to it, but I'm sure described in Thousand Suns, Scarson Sun is presented with this. He's uh, holding this ma this great black uh, stone axe. Or the Black Frost Axe, uh, which is basically supposed to have all the grooves and everything as carved out of rock, but it's got this really cool black shine to it. So I really wanted to go to, into quite a bit of detail with this, uh, as I like the frost blades and stuff like that for Space Force. I think they've got quite a cool. Uh, so all that is, it's quite literally. Um, uh, I'm still using Chaos Black, so I'll, I'll just call it Chaos Black. I'm not sure what it is now. Bad and Black, I think. <laughs> but I'll, I'll just go with it. Uh, so I used uh, Chaos Black and then Dry Brushed uh, Battle Adeptus. Uh, Adeptus Battlefield Grey onto the grooves and then very finely high, uh, Dry Brushed uh, Ceramite White onto the top. And then uh, black washed, 
put it all together and then gave it a very fine edge highlight back up with white followed by another black wash and then gloss varnished uh, the whole thing and I quite like it because it's something a bit different it's not uh, what you'd normally see for Space Wolves or something, you know, stuff like that but I thought it quite cool as like a relic of the Space Wolf chapter uh, so what else is there? Oh yeah, uh, the troll skin. This is something new for me because I'm not great. Oh, no, I'm not. Uh, I was a bit iffy when I started doing this because I didn't know how blue it would go and how it would sit with the greys and the browns and uh, the reds of the shoulder pads and stuff. Um, but I think it sits in quite nicely considering what it's meant to be, which is meant to be a Fenrisian troll skin. And I really like some of this cool uh, bits of scaling scales and stuff that are in here. And this is built up through I think a good four or four or five different blues. And then uh, just to give a bit of shadow back to the the ridges and lines and stuff, I just very finely put a very thin layer of uh, null oil into the grooves just to bring them back, like I say, just back out a bit. Uh, got all the claws and the teeth. Uh, on the other side, I just did it a darkish red, just to kind of give it that sort of. Um, I can't think of the word to be. I don't want to say varnished, but you know, treated kind of look to it. Um, so yeah, skull on the backpack, which I always like with space falls. I think it's such a cool little feature. Uh, the shield, it's just the granite colour with the uh, gold wolf and head in the middle uh, but, uh, oh yeah and then this if it shows up so there you've got Harold Harold Deathwolf's uh, insignia on the shoulder pad which is the wolf eating the star I believe that is but I, I, that's really quite nice, and I'm glad it was etched, actually etched in on the pad. Um, so yeah, there you go, guys. Uh, hope you like it. Uh, I'm quite pleased with how it, came, with how this has come out. Let's consider it something a bit different. Oh, since I tried a few new techniques and stuff on here, which come out quite well. Uh, but yeah. So uh, I'll probably uh, put a couple photos on to follow this video. Uh, and I'll catch you again next time, guys. So take care and catch you next time.